Arguably, the king of upper body exercises is the pull-up. Whether you're a bodybuilder, athlete, or into calisthenics, pulling your chin over the bar is great for back development, raw pulling power, grip strength, and maybe most importantly, a balanced posture and physique. The problem is, they're hard. They're not like push-ups where you can just bust out five or 10 pretty easily, no matter who you are. Getting your first pull-up can be a real journey and improving your pull-ups from five to 10 can take a lot of work, but it's worth it. One of the things we've noticed from working with a lot of people is they want to train at home and you know not go to the gym, but they may not have something to hang from. We think that if you just prioritize doing squats, push-up and pull-up variations, you can attain a above average physique and strength levels without even going to the gym. But you gotta have something over your head that you can grab onto. So here's five setups that you can use to do pull-ups without needing the gym. And even if you don't care about pull-ups, you still want something to hang from daily. We highly recommend that. Number one, the classic doorway pull-up bar. This is a great option because it's cheap and the setup is super simple. And most importantly, it requires almost no space. You can put it up and then just put it in a closet when you're done with it. Super inexpensive. I think I've clocked the cheapest one on Amazon at about $25. Now the negatives are that it only really has one function. It's a very low bar. Like for guys like us, probably our knees are gonna hit the floor. You might have to do it in an L-sit position. And there's really only one function. You're not gonna be able to do muscle ups on it. <laughs> you're not gonna be able to do rows on it really. But it is like a really just nice thing to have in your house. Even even if you're not seriously training on it, but maybe every time you walk through the doorway, do a little hanging, you do one or two pull-ups. Now, another option that goes in a doorway as well is a hang board. These are tools that climbers use, but it opens up the option for you to do pull-ups in your doorway. Now for this, it does require some installation, but it can be quite easy if you do a little research. We both have them in our homes. Your next option is a pull-up stand, and sometimes they call these power towers. Don't call it that. <laughs> now the positives to the power tower is that they're usually lightweight, easy to move around. Most of the time they have more attachments so you can do dips on them. And they're fairly inexpensive. We've seen them on Amazon for as cheap as $100. As a consequence of them being lightweight, oftentimes they're not very sturdy. And just because of how the structures are set up, even though you may have a dip attachment, oftentimes you're just limited to pull-ups and dips. You can't hang rings from them or do any other calisthenics movements. So I've personally had a couple variations of these pull-up stands and I wanna give you guys my thoughts on them. So I've had more of the power tower. Actually, it was right at the beginning of the pandemic. I bought one of these cause I was staying in an Airbnb and I easily set it up there and pretty much everything that Trevor said, it allowed me to do pull-ups but not much more. Next, there's a company called Base Blocks, and I actually bought their base bar probably about two years ago. Now, the reason that I got this bar is because I was training the front lever, and this is a lower bar. Um, there's two settings. I can move it up to maybe about chest height, which does open up doing pull-ups on it in an L-sit position, that is. What's kind of cool is you can also do L-sit muscle-ups on this too, and the bar is kind of fat, so it's actually kind of easier to do that muscle up and it's fun to train from the comfort of your own home. Now they do have a higher pull up stand and I haven't personally used this, but I can say that this company's products are pretty good. I've really enjoyed my bar so far. It can be a nice option if you're living in an apartment. You do still have to store them somewhere, but they actually have some options that are collapsible. So the next bar I wanna talk about is the Contrin version. We'll put that on the screen right now. I got this bar about a year ago. The reason why I got it is because it goes up super high. So if you're a bit taller and you kinda of get tired Tired of always having your feet on the ground and having to lift your hips, this is a really awesome option. My main negative for this bar is that, once again, it's not very sturdy. Like, I would not feel very comfortable doing muscle ups on this bar. It's high enough to where we can hang gymnastics rings from it, but only really for pull ups. I wouldn't feel comfortable doing much else other than that. Actually, I've done rows on it and it didn't turn out too well. Can put the clip right here, I guess. I just do have that clip you have falling. Oh, no. <laughs> the whole thing tip over? I forgot about that. Yeah, the whole thing oh, fell apart. <laughs> now, this bar is actually around 
$400. And to be honest, I don't know if it's worth that much, especially as we get to this next section. Number three up on the list are squat stands. And the obvious benefit of using this is it's multifunctional. You can do pull-ups, but you can also do all the barbell movements or anything else that you would use a squat stand for. They're also way more sturdy, so you can hang rings and do rows from these, especially if you like keep some weight on there. Yep, and muscle ups, uh, depending on what variation you have. If you do want to use a squat stand for this purpose, just get one with a straight bar. Don't get one with all those funny attachments that have all the bends and bills and whistles. Another benefit to the squat stand is that they're heavy enough to where you can throw bands on it, do shoulder work or mobility work. Now, depending on your situation, the negative side would be, yeah, they're much heavier, they take up more room, but say if you have a garage at your house, it's perfect. They are usually gonna be much more expensive, but there's a squat stand by Cap Barbell on Amazon that's under $200. Now, I've actually used this squat stand back when I was living in Santa Cruz. I had an awesome setup for it. I think back then I got it for like $130 or something like that. I don't know if it's still that cheap, but what I would say is that it's not quite as sturdy as if you went with a really good brand like say Rogue Fitness, but it gets the job done. It's also a little bit lighter so I could like easily move it by myself if I wanted to maybe switch the angle for filming a strength side video. Now, if you are truly committing to not going to the gym, it's pretty nice to have a setup at home. So if you just commit to buying a like full bundle where you have the squat stand, the barbell, all the weights that come with it, that can actually make it quite affordable. Garage gym life. Next we have gymnastics rings. Now we've talked a lot about these in the past, but this can be such a great option for you. It's really just dependent on if you have somewhere easily accessible to hang them from. Now if you're at home, things to look for that you could hang rings from are hanging it off a deck, maybe a beam, uh, you can even put eye hooks in your ceiling and so make it more of a fixture that comes down from your ceiling. Let's not forget the most natural way is a tree branch. Mm. Yeah, of course. But if you don't have any way to hang them at home, you can still find things near your house. Tree branches, like you said, at a park or basketball hoops are great. Just take a little drive around and keep your eyes out for things to hang your rings from. The other great thing about rings is that you get a lot of functionality out of them. You can do push-ups, you can do planks, you can do rows, you can do dips. They really challenge you to develop a lot of strength, especially in the beginning, but it can be a total gym. The only negative is that if you don't have somewhere to hang them from, then they're not gonna be very useful to you. But another cool thing about rings is pretty much all of the previous pull-up bar variations that we've talked about today, you can usually hang rings off of them and at least do push-ups, mm -hmm. like in the example of the doorway pull-up bar. Yep or dips. One thing that the gymnastics rings provides that all the other options don't is your hands aren't fixed in place so they can move. So they can be actually really nice for your shoulder or elbow health. The last option is probably more accessible to you than you actually think that it is, but most people have a neighborhood park quite close. Most parks are gonna have some type of bars for kids to do the monkey bars, or a lot of the time we even have like pull-up bars for adults to use. Yeah, and what I really like about this option is it forces you to get outside and maybe get a little bit out of your comfort zone. Working out in public mm. can feel uncomfortable for a lot of people. And once again, don't write this off. Honestly, I've lived four different places in the last four years and I've found pull-up bars within walking distance from all of the homes that I've lived in. And you probably can too. Yeah, I mean, honestly, sometimes it can feel stifling to always work out in the same place. So, you know, I have a gym that I can go to, but I can also work out at home and I also have a park nearby. And like, that actually makes my training feel really like motivating and fun. It keeps it fresh and new. So moral of the story is do your pull-ups, have some different options, get a way to hang at home and to be able to do some training at home. So we are gonna give away a few free pairs of gymnastics rings. So number one, I bought these a while ago to take with me when I was traveling 
and I got the plastic pair because they're a little bit lighter and easier for travel, but I didn't end up using them. I just brought my wooden pair along. So I wanna give these to somebody who wants them. We're also gonna give a, a few other pairs of wooden rings away. So all you have to do to enter is comment on this video, then head over to Instagram and drop that same comment on this photo right here. So we're gonna try to link everything that we talked about in this video below in the description. If you wanna check out one of those products, comment below your favorite pull-up setup, whether that's what you're using right now or just what you wanna use in the future. And of course, are there any pull-up setups that we didn't mention that you really like and you wanna let people know? Comment below, subscribe to Strength Side, like this video, as always.